Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the Granada in Lawrence, Kansas for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony Hitchcliffe. Look at that bucket. Beautiful Lawrence, Kansas. We've arrived. Make some fucking noise. Wowie, yowie, wowie. The great wowie. Brian Redband is hey here, guys. everybody. How exciting. This is our first ever Kill Tony in the Kansas, Missouri area. This is an exciting night for us. Uh, the beginning of leg number two of our crazy summer tour. How about a, how about a hand for this bucket that was made by a uh, former Kill Tony contestant in Houston, uh, Trey Thompson. Amazing. Uh, made it has all the other dates on the back of it. Oh, Some of them that. already X'd out because we've been there. That's cool. Here we are, beautiful Lawrence, already showing us love with an amazing custom-made bucket. You guys excited about this? You're at the number one live podcast in the world right now. A lot of the other podcasts yeah. have decided to not go live anymore for specific yeah. reasons. Okay. Not us, though. We Ooh, have maintained. Drama. We are streaming. Well, not right now. We're not streaming right now. Yeah. It turns out uh, Lawrence doesn't have the best Wi-Fi. So who would have guessed that? But uh, the tour continues tomorrow, which is a little fun fact. I wasn't even going to say anything, but why not? I just saw it. It's my birthday tomorrow. I know. Uh, Happy birthday. Omaha, Nebraska. And we're going to be in Omaha and then Des Moines. Then we go back to L.A. on Monday just for one night for uh, an amazing uh, Kill Tony at the Comedy Store with the guest Jeffrey Ross and maybe another special treat. And then we go out again on Tuesday. Every night after that, Appleton, Milwaukee, Chicago, Madison, Minneapolis, Poughkeepsie, and New York, New York. Two shows, second show added at the Gramercy Theater. And uh, the new Reagan and Watkins album is out. Today Today is its official release date. And we're with you. How crazy is that? So cool. Of course, the great artist Ryan J. Ebelt could not be here uh, in his physical body tonight. He's back in Los Angeles. However, he did make leg two of the summer tour posters, which start here in Lawrence, Kansas, that are available for sale uh, on your way out. We'll sign them. We'll take a picture with you, whatever you want. And uh, Jeremiah has Feminist Stacy shirts for sale and the new Reagan and Watkins album. You can actually buy it after the show. And I got some Death Squad pins that glow in the dark. Yeah. Of course, uh, we have no guest, as we always do on the road. Um, We go guestless. However... um, (laughs) And there's no Joelberg tonight, it seems. There's no drum set. Yeah, look at it. It's too... (laughs) It's too empty. He's not uh, allowed here, right? Tickets weren't moving as fast as we were hoping for Lawrence. Maybe you should buy your tickets when they go on sale next time, and uh, Joel will be in the budget. However, it just so happens that the leader of the band is from Kansas City, Kansas. The first show he ever saw in his life was here at the Granada Theater. Yeah. He saw Spoon. Spoon. Back in the 90s. I turned my camera on. He's got an album, a huge album available everywhere that literally comes out today. He's in his hometown. We're all staying at his mom's place tonight. This is a real hometown vibe. He's one of my favorite comedians on the planet, one of the funniest humans in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Every episode, by the way, he's in a different character. We never know what he's going to do on this show. Maybe it'll be a famous character that we've seen before. Maybe it's the debut of a brand new character. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the great Jeremiah Watkins, the Kill Tony Band. He's the entire band tonight. Whoa! Standing ovation for Kansas' own. This is incredible. He has gone back to the future. He's been here before. <laughs> He's on stage. This is uh, this is the return of Doc Brown, I do believe. Am I correct? Great Scott, Tony. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, have you ever been here before? Many years ago, I saw Spoon. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that you were able to make it. Uh, you brought your DeLorean here. Yeah, it's parked out back. <laughs> I love it. You look fucking fantastic, Doc Brown. If he was about to make meth, or something like that, right? Thank you. I'm back in Kansas and I already attached truck nuts to my DeLorean. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Truck nuts. <laughs> 
<laughs> that must be a Kansas thing. I don't know. Everybody's laughing. I don't get it. Do you know a Jayhawk's not even a real animal, by the way? I found this out today, doing research on this area. What's it called? The, 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 fa the famous school here is the K KU, right? right? They're a big basketball team. The Jayhawks. I'm like, what the fuck Jayhawk. is a Jayhawk? I look it up. It's like, mascots only, bitch. I'm like, what? <laughs> Why would you do that? Fake animal. All right. Anyway, uh, so we Tony, have... Yes. it may have existed in another timeline. What? Never mind. <laughs> I didn't hear you. I'll try to enunciate as Doc. <laughs> okay. So far, you haven't ever understand anything I've said. I really can. I think yeah. it might be the monitors yeah. or something. <laughs> is it clear to you guys out there? Everything is, right, yeah. right? That's what it is. Unless it sounds like... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, but we'll get through it. I'll just nod yes, and uh, I'll just tag the jokes that I think you make over there throughout the episode. <laughs> Um, I have a uh, bucket of destiny here, everybody. We have Doc Brown, Red Band, and the Lawrence, Kansas bucket of destiny. Do we have a lot of names? A lot of oh, names wow. signed up tonight. Jeez. A real fucking thick bucket. At least three or four pages. Uh, I think three full pages of names, wow. uh, which Great. is a lot. I think that's in the 70, 80, 90 range. So we'll see what fucking happens. That's basically... Uh, how many people uh, signed up tonight for their very first time to do stand-up comedy? See, there's a lot of them out there. We've had a lot of that on the road lately. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Look at her with the open legs in the second. Yeah, no. Wow. Look at you, little fun pants over there. How, yeah. how, how many people signed up that are actually comics that have done it a few times? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Hell yeah, this guy raised his hand super politely. No way he's funny. <laughs> funny people never raise their hand for shit. Hell yeah. Uh, if I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds on this stage uh, to do stand-up comedy or really try to fucking do anything creative. Uh, at the end of the 60 seconds, you'll know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or she's going to bring out the angry Missy B's bear. <laughs> is that the right reference? Hell yeah. There we go. We nailed it. Just to let you know, if I pull your name out, the only entrance way possible oh, is there. over there or really? Yeah, that's right here. Oh, right okay, yeah. Or there's two ramps on either side, but you got to go to those. Don't try to climb over. Doc Brown, you ready for this shit? Let's do it. All right. Audience, are you ready? Anything can happen. The bucket of destiny has spoken and your first comedian getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds and then being interviewed by us goes by the name of Craig Compton. Craig Compton will start tonight's show. Here he comes. He's going backwards, going literally the wrong way. Hell yeah, I like his approach. All the way to the... If you want to get to the front, you got to go to the back sometimes. You know what I mean? You guys excited about this? Here he comes. He brought his Michelob Ultra with him. One more time for Craig Compton. So uh, we'll start off with some animal jokes. 90% uh, of giraffe sex is a uh, homosexual. If I had a neck that long, uh, I'd want to show it off too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, at any given time, 50% of orangutans uh, walk around with broken legs because <laughs> This is nerve-wracking, right? <laughs> so 50% of orangutans walk around with broken bones because they fall from fucking trees. <laughs> so uh, if you wonder why our president walks around with a limp. <laughs> so uh, I take antidepressants. Anyone else on that game? My Lex Pro, Lex Bros? Okay, Prozac, Prozac? Fuck, no. All right. Uh, so one side effect of Lexpro is that, uh, you know, you overproduce sperm. Another side effect of Lexpro is that you, uh, you know, have suicidal thinking. So I uh, made a... Wow. Heck yeah. How you doing, buddy? Are you okay? Do I recognize you from the hit show Battlefish? Nice. Paddlefish. Yeah, it's, I'm obsessed with it. It's on Netflix. You gotta watch it. Yeah, go ahead. Doc I would Brown. like to take him back in time and rewrite that stand-up set. 
It is true. First time ever performing? Yeah. Uh, talking to the microphone. Yes. Well, congratulations. Yes, there you. you go. There's thank the goat you. of the first time. Thank you. Clearly, you drove straight here from Tampa Bay for this show. Wichita, Kansas. Thank you. From where? Wichita. Wichita, uh, Kansas. Yeah, two and a half hours south of here. So. Two and a half hours south. Was Hell. that your first time saying the word orangutans? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. I practiced it and messed it up every single time. Well, so the orangutan doesn't fall yeah. far from the tree. Thank you. Uh, are you on Lexa Pro? Is that what you said? Yes, yes. Your, your set was more Lexa Amateur. There it is. Thank you. So yes. what do you take Lexa Pro for? Uh, you know, just the regular classic depression, anxiety. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fuck yeah. You, you know, the hits. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh huh. I mean, How long probably, have you been? How, what? Oh, you've probably heard it before. You know, like I, I feel like every time I say it, it's a broken record. But you know. How old are you? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. You don't look a day over forty-three. Thank That's you. beautiful. Thank you. I mean, just absolutely perfect. Thank you. You look like you lead the straight pride parade. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what do you do for work? I am an analyst at a construction company, and it's... Uh, an animalist? Analyst. Analyst. <laughs> okay, I thought, I thought, oh, that's why you did all those fucking weird. horrible animal jokes. Yeah. He's an animalist. Yeah. You're an analyst where? At a construction company. Oh, okay. Yeah. What are you so, analyzing? Uh, you just catcalling women as they walk by? Yeah. Hey, yo, Bobby! Yeah. Go ahead. What are you yeah. analyzing? Uh, money, basically, and money. people spend it. Yeah. Wow. Fuck I know. Yeah. So interesting. You were uh, one of my favorite characters on Bloodline. I can't believe you're doing this good for yourself. Thanks. Only two people will get it, but they'll love it. The Life fucking line. drunk brother. Yep. He also always had a can of Michelob Ultra in his hand yeah, throughout the entire show. Bloodline? I went in. Is that the right show from Netflix? Yeah, right? Love it's been a while. Jeez. What was that? Yes. yes. Thank you, sir. Very good. Uh, so, fuck yeah. So, you do that. How long you been on the Lexapro for? I feel like this is an interview with a psychiatrist. Uh, two years. Uh-huh. Well, maybe it is an interview with a psychiatrist, you motherfucker. Yes. You want to talk about Lexapro, I want to talk about it too. So two years. Was it, was it, let, me, let me ask you this. Did you go through a breakup about two and a half, three years ago? Strange. Yeah. 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 You did. Yeah. Wow. This Science. is almost like an interview with a psychiatrist. Hey. Piece of shit. I could solve all your fucking problems, I told dude. You I'm a We're gonna. Record. Who wants to give this guy an extreme makeover tonight, huh? All right, we need uh, we need scissors, a razor, shaving cream, and a dirty, dirty whore. Uh, anyway, all right. All right. so when's the last time you've been on a date? Like what three year weeks. is it? <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks ago. <laughs> Three weeks ago. How'd yeah. it go? I uh, broke up with her, so... You broke up with her on the first on date. The Very date. good. Oh, it's like, oh, you I know what? I was on the first date. <laughs> I, I think we should no. see other people right now. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Why'd you yeah. break up? Just wasn't into it, you know. I had other things to do, so... Oh, like You had other or? things to do? Is <laughs> yeah. that what you just said? Yeah. Like what? I uh, just bought a Porsche, and I'm telling fucking everyone, so... <laughs> You hey, yeah. the, the car? Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Good for you. Thanks. Heck I'm uh, yeah. renting it on t out on Turo, which is like Airbnb for cars. So there's my shameless plug. So you got a Porsche and yeah. you're rent and you're renting it out. Does somebody have it right now? No. <laughs> wow. can, I, can I just say I don't think you're allowed to brag that you have a Porsche if you're actively <laughs> renting it out to people. <laughs> I bought this really expensive thing that I can't afford, so I rent it to other people. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to take your brand new car and just let other people fuck in it and stuff? Because yeah, I'm that's what the car is used for. <laughs> it's right. a fuckmobile. Right. That's what seat covers are for. Seat covers. So you take a nice new Porsche and you put fucking plastic all over it. Like, do you have plastic seat covers? Yeah, just really? Is it, yeah. is it really plastic seat covers? I'd be so pissed if I rented oh a God. Porsche and had to sit on a <laughs> yeah. fucking trash bag. <laughs> I know. It's like, oh man, I, I, want, I rented this for yeah. uh, a date. Now I'm going to have to break up with her tonight <laughs> after yeah. this. They're nice and spill resistant, so we're okay. Mm -hmm. how, many how many times have you rented it out since you bought it? No, it, it's... This happened three weeks ago, so we're still in the renovation phase. So Renovation? Yeah. Oh, what kind of renovations are we going through? After Putting it on Lexapro? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Any fun facts that. that we should know about you that, uh, that are interesting about you? 
you know, like uh, any hobbies or anything like sure. that? Snowboard. Uh, he looks like a fun waiter at Red Lobster. <laughs> you do. You actually do. Can I have some more cheddar biscuits, please? <laughs> Let me ask you this, because this is what I sort of find interesting about this interview. Let's talk a little bit more about this chick that broke your heart two and a half years ago, shall we? Uh, So it's been that long. She left you, Yep. right? Yeah. And it just sort of left you high and dry, right? She already had another guy. It was a trainer or something like that, or a boss at work. Am I close? Not really. No? But she did have another guy already, and that broke your heart. You felt like you'll never recover. Do you, uh, do you do anything to uh, try to help yourself other than take Lexapro? Like, do, do you do anything to help your heart and your mind? Do That's you think you'll ever have, fall in love like you were with her again? Fuck. Honest question. The existential. Honest question. The more honest your answer, the better that this interview uh, is going to go. Do yeah, you think probably. that you'll fall in love with someone that much again as of right now? We all know no. the answer, yeah. but we're interested to know what you think right now. Do you ever think you'll love someone as much as you loved her? No. Uh, Beautiful answer. You nailed it. because I kind of just like have given up on it because like I'm single, I'm doing my thing and uh, like I'm happier than I've ever been. So uh, you know what? If you're happier than you've ever been, then that's all that fucking matters. Keep renovating that Porsche. (laughs) I'm telling you. If you ever see a guy driving around in a Porsche vigorously masturbating, you can say you saw him here on Kill Tony. Which is why my book about the side effects of Lexapro will be called Ropes. Oh, you really wanted to finish that joke, huh? That's a shame. You should have just gotten out with everybody clapping. They were loving you. Yeah, you just fucked yourself. You're like, wait till they get the end of this joke. Oh, man, it was, yeah. I had to try it. In an alternate timeline, that joke killed. (laughs) Yeah. He tried to go back to the future, Doc. What do you think about that? Ah. (laughs) How about another hand? He got it started tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Craig Compton, everybody. And like that, we are going... He's Quazy Craig on Twitter. C-W-A-Z-Y. Quazy Craig. I bet his girlfriend's so much happier now, though. His ex-girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. She's just taking Jayhawk cock 24-7. Yeah. Just the starting five. Just Big. running the triangle offense on her beat-up pussy. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> all right. Pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for your next comedian, <laughs> Jeff Kelly. Jeff <laughs> Kelly, everyone. Here we go. Here he comes. He's got a good stride. Solid and steady. Arms up in the air. He's excited about this. He thinks the stage is walking to him. Here he comes. Here he comes. One more time for Jeff Kelly, everybody. I, uh, I'm getting old, and uh, it's not, I don't like it, it sucks. I sometimes, well, not sometimes, but every day I wake up in the morning and I go in the bathroom and take showers and stuff like we do, and I look in the mirror and I go, holy fucking shit, dude. Why is it that you can move everything on your body with your brain? Except for your penis. <laughs> and I tried, and I was like, man, like my, my legs work, my arms work, and my head works, and my neck works, and everything. But like, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Sucks getting old. No, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, look at that. 58 seconds of suspense, and you nail it at the end. Just slam dunk it with a hard gnaw mean. You know, I mean Fuck yeah, I Jeff time. Kelly. Absolutely. Um, how long Thank have you, you been uh, coaching soccer at prisons for? Two seasons. Hell yeah. I like your style, Jeff. First time doing stand-up? First time. How about a hand for Jeff Kelly? It's his first time. There's the goat. It's good to know that here on Kill Tony, we even give angry stepdads a chance to, uh... Am I right? You are a stepdad. Am I correct? 
former stepdad. Wow, uh, you're so good you fucking left honorable discharge over here. Oh no, he killed the kids. <laughs> How are you a uh, you got divorced from the uh, the lady that you were with? Or I something? um I've managed to navigate my way through life never getting married and never having kids. But you did date a woman that had kids for a while? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Lots of, lots. Lots and it's lots of them. It's fucking horrible. Heck yeah. It's the hardest thing ever. You can't love somebody else's kids automatically. <laughs> and they go, you gotta, this is yours now. And I'm like, nah. You have a new joke, my friend. That's how it goes. That's, that's why I've I'm never, here, I've brother. Ne- it goes, I've never been married. I've dated women that have had uh, kids. And what I've learned is you can't love someone else's kids. <laughs> That's hilarious. You said it, you son of a bitch. You don't even know what's funny. Doesn't remember. And then you throw at the end of that, you just go, no nah, man. Nah, and fucking nah. place goes crazy. As You're... soon as I can't be on this stage, I'm writing that shit down. Absolutely. Heck yeah, with one hand tied behind your back. Yeah, obviously. what the fuck? You crossing your fingers? <laughs> You're not going to write that down, are you? Jeff, tell us more about you. Uh, what do you do? I uh, bake barbecue in Kansas City. You oh. make barbecue in Kansas City. What kind of, uh, what, is it a place that you'd like to uh, mention or I, like I, uh, give a shout out to? Well, it's the, uh, the best. I don't want to start a gang it, war or anything like no, that. No, no. Only what you, you're doing a little dry rub right now, it seems, yeah. in your pants. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. My bad. Barbecue jokes, everybody. We're in motherfucking Kansas. I, uh. Hell yeah. Oh, the spotlights went on for a barbecue reference. The only, the only thing I can tell you is that I work at the best barbecue restaurant in Kansas City. Why don't you drop its name right now? Good and hard. I mean, you can. I mean, I don't know. This guy's in fear for weird? his job right now. No, it's not weird. These are up, all these people all live in Kansas. You'd be giving it a big plug. It's like free pr- I, promotion. I, I smoke the meats at Joe's Kansas City Barbecue. <laughs> This is why I fucking said, look at that guy, standing ovation. It seems like Doc Brown knows about your barbecue joint. Fuck yeah, dude. (laughs) Heck yeah. Wow, you're in charge of smoking the meat, huh? You're welcome. (laughs) Wow. Guess whose dick I'm sucking after the show tonight? (laughs) Heck yeah. Suck that oh. soft old dick. Fuck yeah. That was you can't get hard anymore, huh? Is that true, Jeff? No, it's not true. You have, I, you're just having like, trouble with it. Oh, you need to visit the doctor. I, I don't have a... Uh... Isn't it weird that it gets harder, yet it doesn't get harder at the same time? It's, um, it's, uh, it, uh, sometimes it just depends on, uh... Describe you know. the saddest it's ever looked. <laughs> has it ever has it ever just like gone between your legs like a dog when it gets scared or something like, like that? Like does it go the other direction? Every day. Yeah. Every day. No, just day. kidding. No, everything's fine. I was just I was making a joke. My dick's Sure, great. no, we know how those go for you. It's awesome. If anybody wants to try it, it's fine. Does the carpet ever match the drapes? And not any. Small and bald down below. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I think so. What else, Jeff? What do you like to do for fun when you're not smoking um, meats? And I, uh, you seem I like, like the kind of guy that go karts backwards or something like that. Go karts backwards. I, I do. I, I, I run a. Uh, I have a club actually that we do go karts backwards. Okay, and, uh, Jeff. Just answer the question honestly. This guy's trying to learn improv right now, live in yeah, front of yeah. everybody. Get back to the weak dick. Yes, Tony. Actually, it's funny you mention that. I do race go karts backwards. With I have a club that does that. I don't. I don't really do anything fun, man. I just work too much and it sucks. You work too much. Well, how about after work? What do you do after work? What's a drink? Yeah. What do you, you drink a lot? Drink with your crew? I. I. I yeah. I, I like to drink beer and whiskey. Beer and whiskey. I like to smoke marijuana. Oh my God! What the fuck's happening? You smoke a. You smoke a lot of pot. You've been doing that a while. It's not well, legal here, correct? Not, not a while, actually. I've, I'm a new, uh, I'm a new smoker. I've only been smoking for about three months. What the fuck is that talking? Shut the oh, fuck up, whoever up. that is. There's an open hand slap policy for anyone you see just randomly talking loud. I'm not. On I'm this not show, very entertaining, you know. so I get it. Just feel free to turn around. Little totally open hand it. smack. It's okay. Per- per- permissible. 
Uh, so, uh, Jeff, how old are you? I'm uh, 45. 40. I'm five. old as fuck. And how long is stand up? No, I mean. Is stand up some? Is stand up something you've always wanted to do? No, I just I love stand up comedy, man. I always have. I uh, when I was a little kid living in Olathe, Kansas, uh, mm-hmm. going to the store to get a Eddie Murphy raw VHS when I was like 14. Yeah. And the people. God, you call really mom, are uh, old as fuck. I know. What the fuck? All right. Well, Jeff, I'll tell you this: is that uh, you're a fucking local legend. People Not love, really. Yeah, the place went crazy when you said what you've been doing, what you've been putting nice. your life to. Seems like you're uh, really great at. It's the other way. There you go. Fuck yeah, Jeff. And it was uh, it was great to have you on. Fun times, dude. There he goes, Jeff Kelly. Everybody. Hell yeah, he's giving fist bumps. It doesn't really work here, but. Paradise. That's not the right song. Back from that. Okay. My friend. Step back from that ledge. My friend. Step back from that ledge, my little friend. Little Kansas, well in Kansas. How about that, huh? Dust in the wind. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for your next comedian, Carlton Kinley. Here we go. Double K, Carlton Kinley. There he is on the left. He's got a nice stride, a nice steady pace. Feels good out here. How many of you like it when comedians do good on this show? How many of you like it when comedians do bad? I present to you, Carlton Kinley. What up, Lawrence? God damn, the Granada. Me too. I had my first concert here. I was sitting right fucking there. Actually, I was standling, standing for a band called Mastodon. They are a... There we go. A couple people that were at that show. I can smell it from here. Um, actually, that was one of the uh, first times I'd ever gotten an eye infection. The... Uh, the uh, the bassist, I believe, he was like playing right above me, and I literally watched a piece of sweat like fall from his beard, hit me directly in the eye, and I didn't go to school for the rest of the week, so I was kind of sick, but tons of memories every time I smell this place. I come back here and see shows all the time. Um, I'm a former alumni of the University of Kansas. Um, got the tattoo right here. Got that at three in the morning on spring break, so I was definitely in my right mind. Um, that's actually a lie. It's actually, my name is Carlton Kinley, and uh, I needed to get the third K in there somehow just to show my allegiance. Wow. Thank you. Wow, there you go. Carlton Kinley dropping a little, dropping a little racism there at the end, huh? Yep. So, uh, Carlton, grab that microphone. I've never yes, seen a full-size premature baby before. This is uh, pretty exciting. You uh, have an interesting uh, interesting head to you. You look like a y- very, very young... You look like a kindergarten state highway patrolman sometime. <laughs> he looks like that Snapchat filter that makes you look like a baby. <laughs> yeah. He looks like the boss baby actually grew up. <laughs> It's interesting. All everyone on the show so far, I believe, has been wearing uh, khaki shorts, yeah. uh, just like regular old fucking white people yeah. pants. Just get it's an fucking, old navy here or something. The hell mm-hmm. else are you supposed to wear in June in Kansas? This is what we do. It's hot. Fuck yeah, Carlton Kinley. First time doing stand up? Uh, no. This is probably like my fifteenth time ever. Heck yeah, fifteenth time. There you go. Sure. Everybody also keeps their left hand in their pocket nervously. Oh, whoa, God. whoa, what no, the hell's that? Wait, what out. the hell's that? What the worry. fuck was that? Let me see this. Oh, gosh, this, this it little... It goes great with beer. M- how Mio, much? Uh, Mayo energy, Mio caffeine, energy. and B vitamins. They don't have that shit in L.A.? 18 servings in this bottle. Why going. the fuck would you bring 18 servings of an energy drink? You never know. Oh, so you can put it in his vodka. Jesus Christ, dude. Get your life together. Oh, my God. Imagine if somebody just had 18 Red Bulls fall out of their pocket. Oh, my God. It's 
basically what that is. Why do you carry so much portable energy around with you? You never know. No, you never know. <laughs> Are you addicted to caffeine? Um, no. Yeah? I'm not addicted no. So, like, have you had any of that today? Um, no, actually, I haven't. You just keep 18 servings right. of... You never know what. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what do you We're use it for? probably down to 15 servings, so... So, like, what would you use that for? Whenever you need a little pick-me-up, just spray a little in some water, and then boom, you're good Did to you go. used to do this cocaine? This guy's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> spray some in water, yeah, exactly. This guy's the fucking roofy king of <laughs> KU. Okay, you, that's what it was. Hey, girls, you need any energy? <laughs> I thought Carlton was on Fresh Prince, not Cosby. Hey. Ooh, that's powerful. Triple threat. His name's Carlton. How's that for you? You get a lot of Carlton jokes? That's the only you joke. You must hate that because you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that it? That's KKK music, if you're wondering. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Carlton, tell us more about you. What do you do for work? Um, so I actually work at a, uh, a local sandwich establishment called Pickleman's, uh, work in Leewood, Yikes, Kansas. not quite the same response as uh, Joe's <laughs> Barbecue or whatever it was. Tough act to follow, brother. Yeah, uh, so what do you do at the sandwich shop? Make sandwiches? Make sandwiches. I'm a, the uh, manager shift leader on weekends, so mm-hmm. you know, kind of a big deal. Well, no one knows more about white bread than you, my friend. Hey. How long have you been working at the sandwich shop? Uh, two months, two and a half months. Wow, what'd you do before that? I delivered furniture, so this was an upgrade, because I'm not breaking my fucking back by the time I'm 30. Right, yeah. right, and, you know, it, it reversed your aging and your skull and everything, uh, you know. Uh, so, how long were you lugging furniture around for? Oh, about a year and a half. One more question for you. Who holds a microphone like that? <laughs> Did you see it? Who does, do you guys see this? Can you show the audience how you're holding that? Oh, I guess you can't really see. He has his index finger tucked under. Show Jeremiah how weird that is, how you hold that microphone. Oh, that's strange. <laughs> uh, do you have weird hands, Carlton? Is that how you masturbate? Do you tuck your index <laughs> finger <laughs> underneath? I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Oh, I'll yeah. give it a shot. After Holds back the foreskin and his <laughs> like fingers. Yep. So, Carlton... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, sometimes it takes me two or three seconds to realize what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Red band. Are you, are you cut? Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Are you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm not a so, fucking uh, freak. Carlton, you've been working at a sandwich shop for a couple months. Uh, you have a girlfriend? Uh, just went on a date either last night or two nights ago I don't remember it was probably two nights ago probably. if you're still wondering when it was <laughs> you'd probably remember truly if it was really last night so you went on a date two nights ago what'd you yeah. do uh, took her to dinner went to a, a little Did you spot pi- where'd you the- find her at uh, Bumble uh-huh. Yeah. wow so it's she like picked you that already says a lot about her she has an open mind uh, she doesn't care about looks you know what I mean she loves caffeine on the go <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> So uh, you met her on Bumble. You guys chatted it up a little bit. Yep. You're like, hey, what's up? You fucking uh, like sandwiches and shit? <laughs> yep, that's how it went. Yeah, what was, what was your pickup line? Yeah. Like after she uh, messaged you? Yeah, did you make like a cute joke or something? Um, not really. She was like, uh, you know, I, I usually don't make the first move, but since Bumble's making me do it, I will. And, you know, you're worth it or something like that. Like, wow, like look at that. First move, so. Damn, that's pretty fucking... How close she, she said you were worth it? Something like that. How close was she to her profile pic? Was she uh No, she's actually she had just lost like a hundred pounds, but she's uh Oh no, yeah. She's, she's looking good now. Fuck yeah. yeah. Little something to hold on to. Yeah. Let me see. She looks like she's wearing cargo shorts too, huh? It's fucking extra skin hanging. That's when you're wrapping she, between just, your fingers. You're taking stuff out of your pockets, putting it in hers. <laughs> She just lost 100 pounds. Wow. Heck yeah, and she talked about that over dinner. What did she have? And then throw bit. up. Um, before. Th- <laughs> Hopefully it's not breast cancer. She got her tits removed. <laughs> oh my God. Red band. 50 Red- pound breast. That's awesome. 50 pound. Uh, red band, red band. 
No, before the date, I actually pissed her off because I made a comment like, hey, I couldn't imagine you with all that weight. And she was like, what the fuck? That's fucked up. Did she, was her voice deeper than yours like yeah, that? Yeah, what's that? What the yeah, fuck, bro? Yeah, I told her, I can't imagine her with all that weight. And she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Did she have a deep voice? Impressions. I gotta work on my impressions. You can't, no, you can't, you can't lose weight in your voice. Once you gain it, it stays that way forever. <laughs> can always tell a girl that used to be bigger, you know what I mean? Like, I just lost 100 pounds. <laughs> I'm finally at my goal weight. What's your big fat person? Uh, so you went on the date. What'd she eat? Uh, she had uh, a truffle burger. Oh, hell yeah. She got the fucking, uh, she got the, uh, fucking ring around the stomach. That's what that is. That's when, that's when you can't stop being fat no matter what. It just never ends. She got the truffle burger. Yeah, how'd how'd you, she, and that's how you know she used to be fat because pigs love truffles. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> truffle burger. How'd she lose the weight? Did she do like a diet or did she just get an like, operation or something? I think just exercise and eating right. So. Well, yeah, why fuck is she yeah, a bunch right? of truffle burgers yeah. and <laughs> hanging out with telling sandwich guys that they're worth it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't normally do this, but. Uh, I saw that uh, you worked at a sandwich shop and uh, <laughs> you're worth it. Anything else interesting about you, Carlton? Any fun hobbies? You seem like, uh, you definitely shoot guns sometimes, right? You had a dad in your life, am I correct? <laughs> uh, got a stepdad. They uh-huh. just bought guns, her, him and my mom. Yep, I uh, felt, I felt I, guns coming from you. I felt yeah, guns. <laughs> I have not touched the guns yet. Uh, it looks like look you're like touching a... one right now, Carlton. I know. You have a, a, a little, little pistol. little 22 <laughs> millimeter. I kind of give off that school shooter vibe, so I yep. think they're kind of hiding them from me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like, seem like a cop. Like, like yeah. You look like an undercover cop right the now. The cop that's like taking a little yeah, too Yeah, Officer Benjamin Buttons yeah. here to uh, investigate. <laughs> All right, Carlton. Uh, well, we had some fun. I mean, you talked about real stuff. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck happened. During any part of that, you, you, you saw a show here. You got an eye infection, and look at you now. Now you're on stage, looking like everybody else from Kansas. <laughs> Carlton Kinley, everybody. He's on Twitter at Carlton D Kinley. Heck yeah. Did you end up? Did you end up hooking up with her that night, that date? Whoa, they've been sexting. sexting. Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck when was yeah. the last time you sexed, Tony? Did you ever used to sex? No, <laughs> no, I can't. No, are you kidding me? I would love to ever see that. Just like, hey, uh, did dot, 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 dot. Like, it's like people are just jerking off to the dots. Like, it's yeah. in the imagination now. Back in my day, you had to send sexting via email. Email? I used to do letters. We didn't even have fucking oh, computers. Wow, <laughs> Jesus. Didn't know it was uh, on a show with Shawshank Redemption over here. <laughs> my God. Oh, I don't want it. I've been waiting for my babe to let me back. It's been two years. I don't even think these letters are going out. <laughs> <laughs> Dipping a feather in some ink. <laughs> All right. I pulled another name out of the bucket. You guys having fun out there, huh? This is how it's done. Make some noise for your next comedian, Nathan Reagan, everybody. There's a Reagan here. Which reminds me, the new Reagan and Watkins album, out now, available on all platforms, reaganandwatkins.com. Also available for sale after the show. Here comes a human being. Here comes a fucking human being. Man, is this better than a day at Worlds of Fun or what? Make some noise for Nathan Reagan, everybody. So when I was 16, I was forced to shave my twig and berries for the first time, and I've kept them smooth ever since. So after 20 years, you start to learn some methodology behind the best way to shave. So I'm here to share with you this pubic service announcement, which is pop a boner. Maintain the boner while you're shaving. It pulls the nuts up and smooths the sack so you can get a nice tight shave. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, Nathan, how do you keep the mentality you have to be an army ranger to maintain a boner while you're shaving? I can solve that too. Uh, disco porn. So true 70s vintage porn is really hairy and really scary. And if that doesn't scare your stiffy straight, then I don't know what will. Godspeed. Heck yeah. Godspeed indeed. 
A lot of genital talk. That's Nathan Reagan, everybody. Fuck yeah. Left hand in the pocket. Uh, everybody here. This is, what did you guys just find out about Atlantis Morris set out here or something? <laughs> <laughs> fucking like your style, Nathan. You are the uh, you are the first person in the history of the show to ever wear a kilt on their head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so funny, but then uh, from the back it looks like that. But I see the front. It is a bush beer hat. That is a real manly man's hat. You have a 311 T-shirt on. Uh, did you also come here in Doc Brown's DeLorean? No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually always been a 311 fan. I was just gonna say I have always been a 311 fan yeah. myself. You ever been on the cruise before? Nope. You nope. should. You Never got. You ever out. go to Omaha for 311 day? I have. Yeah. That's absolutely. cool. I've been always to wondered. New Orleans for 311 day as well. Very fun. Yeah. Always fun. People are always uh, people are always weirded out by 311 fans, but then you ask them, they've never seen them live. A fun fact that I've always done is uh, ask someone who has seen them live if they like 311. Or if they fell in love with 311 that day, and they tell you yes. That's exactly what happened to me. I saw him for the first time in Wichita, Kansas, seen yeah. 20 times since. Yep. Point is, you can't see 311 without immediately being addicted to 311 afterwards. So be careful if you ever make that choice. You could talk shit now, but don't go see him live. Uh, so let's talk about it, Nathan. First time doing stand-up? Yes, it Absolutely is. it is. All about the genitals, talking about shaving young, keeping it shaved virginity stuff or something like that. What do you do for work? I'm um, a goldsmith. Wow, a goldsmith. Yep. My goodness. Uh, what year is it? <laughs> yeah, what, what, what exactly does a goldsmith do? Uh, jewelry designer. I set gemstones, size rings, repair jewelry, Look make jewelry. How do you get into that business? Your dad did it. Uh, my grandfather and my father did it. Yeah, oh, third wow. generation. What year is this? <laughs> You're saying my, my father and my grandfather before him did it. Third generation goldsmith. Uh, y- you guys competitive about it at all? or like? Uh... Uh, both my dad and my grandfather are dead, so no. Oh, oh. I, well, well. Yeah, I guess it's diamonds are forever, not gold, uh, right? Yeah. True. Right. True. <laughs> my goodness. Wow. Man. Do you fuck with diamonds also, like as a goldsmith? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. So is there any truth to like these new diamonds that you cannot tell the difference at all between a real diamond and a... So I have equipment that tests that can show whether or not it's man-made, but yeah, ultimately it's the same. Yeah, it's the dumbest thing ever. Diamonds yeah. are pretty stupid. Yeah. They're you, pretty you, valuable. You like blood diamonds? I prefer oh, blood diamonds. If it's not, if the child wasn't killed, I don't set it. <laughs> right, right. Little blood in the middle of that diamond. You married? I am. Yep. How long you been married for? Uh, seven years, but we. She is my high school sweetheart as well, so we dated for quite some time. She's out there. Yes, yeah, she is. W- literally a real gold digger. Everybody, we've never <laughs> actually had an actual gold digger. Oh, she's adorable. Look at her. Hell yeah. Look at that fucking You're beautiful. Sweet, sweet, just fucking typical Kansas blonde, fucking dirty, dirty girl. Anyway, uh, uh, so seven years, a high school sweetheart. You were in high school seven years ago. No, no, no. We oh. dated for quite some time. Oh. We got she was in high school. Ago. Same age as me. <laughs> she looks better than I, but yeah. same age, yeah. No, that's awesome. Is that the only girl you've ever been with? Oh, no. No. Uh, wow, you were a slutty middle school guy or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> How long were you guys separated for? Uh, well, we went to college in separate states and then got back together after college. Heck yeah. Yeah. Have you ever asked her uh, how many black men she was with in college? Uh, you... You've never been to Kansas. <laughs> what? You've never been to Kansas, clearly. There's not a lot of black men options. There's not a lot of black men options? Mm-hmm. All I know is basketball about this place. No, we the ship BMOs them in are to pretty play low. for the Jayhawks. Huh? We ship them in to play for the Jayhawks. We ship them in They're They're in from crates? My They're not from God. Kansas. <laughs> oh, my God. Just one Mexican lady giving the thumbs down on aye, that. Aye, aye. Everyone else is laughing and clapping. I love how everybody, uh, I love how all the non-whites stick up for one another. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, uh, 
So what else, Nathan? You've been with her for seven years. You guys have kids? No, no kids. No kids. Hell yeah. Is that, is that okay? By choice, yes. We, right. We like to travel. By choice. So do you, you pull out or do you uh, finish inside of her? Oh, no, I pull out. You pull out. Where, do you, where do you like to shoot your load? Wherever it's available. Across wow. state lines. <laughs> Heck yeah. You're such a Kansas guy, you blow all your loads in Missouri. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking get over there. Heck yeah. So wherever is available, that's an interesting approach. Are you talking about on her or just like blankets and floor? Like what are we talking about here? I pretty much black out and just wherever it lands. Wow. Fine. You black out. My goodness. I thought you had to ship those into uh <laughs> All right. Well, Nathan, what do you like to do for fun? You got no kids. You've been banging the same chick for seven years. A lot longer, but yes. Uh, we, do like, we like to travel. Yeah. We just got back from Vegas, spent a week in Vegas. Oh, sweet. Yeah. What did you do in Vegas? Anything cool? A uh, jewelry show, actually. Went shopping for jewelry. Oh, hell yeah. True story. I love that. Yeah. That's awesome. Indeed. Um, anything fun happen there? You get drunk? Uh, it, it, not really. A lot of work, but yeah, we see all the new things in the industry. And did you lose any money? Oh, yeah. You Absolutely. gambled? What did you gamble uh, on? I don't gamble a lot, but uh-huh. we play blackjack and some slots, but for the most part, we enjoy Vegas outside of gambling. Right, right. What's, new, what's new technology in jewelry? Is there uh, a not lot necessarily like square technology, diamonds? Or? But uh, there's, there's endless amounts. Like you had mentioned man made diamonds, that's brand yeah. new. Uh, different what trends are hot right now might end up being hot in three years in Kansas, so I have to keep track of Like anklets? <laughs> no, no anklets. Uh, you, have a, you have a little bit of a fancy store. You make good money doing that? You in like Overland yeah. Park or something no, like in, that? No, I'm in Wichita. Whoa, Wichita. Yeah. Damn, yeah. dropping it like it's hot. That might be the whitest thing ever is a 311 shirt with Wichita written on the back. Just a fucking game day so, shirt. So WSU... 311 shirt. Wow. Washington State University? Yeah. Wichita State University. Wichita State Shockers. University. That's right. Yeah. That's, wait, that's the, their team name is the Shockers? It is, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Hilarious. Get the fuck out that of here. Real? It's a shock of wheat. So like I think this is the first time Brian and I have ever thought about dropping our Buckeye fandom before. <laughs> uh, two guys from Ohio. I'm <laughs> sorry. We're Wichita State fans. Don't ask it's, us it's, why. <laughs> we're dirt balls. It's a good backup team for you. Heck yeah. Uh, you ever put things in your wife's butt? No. <laughs> Nothing no. ever? She's very anti that area. Okay, red band. Come on. <laughs> she's anti that. Have you tried it once and she's like never ever again? Or? Oh, right. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what, well, like, what did you do? You started with the pinky, ring finger, middle finger? Uh, what? No, no we, we just discussed it while we were in the heat of the battle and it was turned <laughs> yeah. down and we wow. never talked again. Hey, no. buddy, that's called rape. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> He's a, he's a jewelry guy, so I was uh, hoping maybe he would tell us, like, ten carats or something like that, you know? Okie dokie, again. Uh, sometimes she didn't take chances. <laughs> After that, did she bronze the sheets? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, Nathan. Well, I mean, you did it tonight. You had your uh, first time ever on stage, and you fucking took it like a champ. You're, you're really good at this whole uh, interview process. You seem super comfortable up there. Thank and uh, fucking rock and roll, man. Have a great night. There he goes, Nathan Reagan. Popping cherries here tonight, people. This is the real deal. Heck yeah. Rock and roll, buddy. I like that guy. I like that guy. What song was that? KC and JoJo. Ah, because of Kansas City. KC and JoJo. Wow, look at that. How about a hand for the band tonight, everybody? (laughs) Come on. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, this is so cool. I love that this happened. This young man had uh, signed up tonight, and he actually made this bucket. This is a guy that's been on this show actually twice before, episodes in Houston and Austin after he didn't get up and after driving from here all the way to Nashville once and Houston once and not getting pulled out of the bucket. So here he is in his own hometown, ladies and gentlemen, Trey Thompson, everybody. Hell yeah. Oh, here he is. This girl saved my number in her phone as a clown emoji. 
because I'm a comedian. She deleted my number after I asked when she was going to throw her pie in my face. I had to use the women's restroom in an emergency. What was the emergency? There was a fire. It doesn't matter. What matters is I was a gentleman. I lifted the toilet seat up. I didn't get any urine on the toilet at all. I pissed in the sink. <laughs> that look a gay man gives me after I tell him I'm straight is the same look a woman gives me after I tell her I'm straight. <laughs> They're both just pretty disappointed. My dad gives me that look when I do stand-up comedy. I did that a lot quicker than I expected. You got 58 seconds in. Trey Thompson, everybody. Wow. Much better set than uh, you've ever had before. It's been a couple years, right, since yeah. you've been on this show. So congratulations. Uh, that you. was that was Those were really good jokes right down the barrel. Look at you. You are so much fatter than you were two years ago. Probably have 35 more pounds. But. You are fat and very, very, very... Very lesbian-y. I mean, yeah, more what so is that? than any one. I mean, you might be the most lesbian-y thing ever. And we've had a lot of lesbians on this show. But I think you make them look like girly girls. Yeah. And you look like just a bull dyke. Yeah. Look at you. I mean, just look at the audience. Stop staring at me. Show them this fucking skull. Look at this. What, what is the decision with the, the perm on one side yeah, of what your is head? That? You look like the brother and the sister from White Stripes made a baby. I do need a haircut. You look, you look like all the daughters of Roseanne after a makeover. You look like a fat Kansas poodle. <laughs> you look like you rode too many rides at Worlds of Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Second Worlds of Fun reference? No? All right. You look like you're excited because today is National Donut Day. <laughs> it really is National I know, Donut I Day. Know. The guy at the uh, rental car place told me uh, after he handed me back my, you know, you have to check out, you have to hand him the papers and your ID. He told me, he goes, by the way, you didn't hear it here, but today's National Donut Day. <laughs> And I literally go, without any hesitation, I, re I, re I really went like, what? And, and he, goes, he goes, you get a free donut at any 7-Eleven or uh, what's the other one? Whatever. Convenience Dunkin'. store. But he was telling me literally like it's some dirty secret that don't tell him the guy at the rental car drop off in Kansas airport told you. Trey, what the fuck's going on, man? How are you? How you Good. been? Good? Great. Yeah. Great uh, bucket, by the way, man. This is fantastic. I, I, Incredible. I, I didn't make that. Who made it? Uh, this art teacher that I'm talking to. Oh, uh, talking to the art teacher. How many multicolored pencils can you fit in her vagina at once? <laughs> How many? I want an answer. Six, seven? No, hasn't I'm just kidding. Uh, tell, us, uh, tell us about her. Where'd you meet her at? Uh, art school? <laughs> high school. She Wait, what? We were both in high school together. Uh, oh, uh, wow. Uh, I thought she was your fucking art teacher yeah. for a second. And she's like, you know, she's just finding her, she's fi realizing that she's a lesbian, and she's like, look at this fucking butch. All right. Uh, so you, you went to high school with her? Yeah. And she became an art, art teacher. Yeah. And you became what appears to be an art student. <laughs> So how did that happen? Did you guys start dating in high school? No, we were friends in high school. She was actually kind of the one that got away. Right, right, she right. She got married, and then uh -huh. I got with somebody. Right, she's the one that got away, and during that time, you let yourself go. So it all worked out. You met back in the middle again. <laughs> Heck yeah. Math. So uh, have you, you said you're talking with her. You guys like having sex like what is no, that not, not yet no but. what have, what have you gotten to how far have uh, you gotten like making out and just making out and uh, booby grab maybe a finger yeah whoa yeah see wow. people love it I didn't All the way. I, I didn't know you were good at finger painting <laughs> <laughs> heck yeah wow so but still no sex huh what's the deal with that 
Have you brought it up? Yeah, how do you go from fingering to not having sex? Uh, we didn't, I didn't have, a, it's not like I've fingered her yet. It's you didn't feel her like cauliflower thing in there? <laughs> oh, you didn't, you didn't, wait, what? <laughs> cauliflower thing? What the fuck kind of growth? thing on the top that feels like cauliflower. Oh, we just lost two women just walked out. <laughs> They're they, going to go grab each other's those, cauliflower. The, those two chicks must have weird cauliflower <laughs> things in their pussies. Oh, no, I, that's the girl with the open legs. I actually saw her pussy earlier. She's fine. She's good. There she goes. She's got to pee. She had a swollen vulva. <laughs> swollen cauliflower. <laughs> From swollen vulva to swollen vulvo. Back to Trey Thompson here. Now, Trey, uh, you are originally from what part of town? Uh, Independence, Missouri. Independence, Missouri. Fuck yeah, there's some real white trash out there tonight. <laughs> and uh, what do you do for work? I deliver pizzas. You deliver pizzas. Wow. Ah, very how, suspicious. How often does the entire pie make it to the destination? <laughs> Yeah, this seems very suspicious. I haven't seen you in a while. You've gained a lot yeah. of weight, and now you're delivering pizzas. Pounds is not Where a are lot you of delivering weight. these pizzas into your own mouth? <laughs> you get free pizza, right? Uh, every once in a while. Yeah, right. right. Huh? You it's work like for, you work for a chain or a Domino's? Wow, yeah. geez, dropped it like it's nothing. I like Domino's. That's a good one. Heck yeah, you do. It's not delivery. It's garbage. <laughs> My goodness. What's the weirdest uh, coincidence or incident that you saw at the house that you delivered the pizza to? Um, you ever have that naked girl answer the door with the Instagram? A strange person, an interaction, anything. Spit it out, Come kid. on, I don't think wanna, about I don't it. You're delivering, up. listen, you're delivering pizzas. You're out there, right? You got your fucking Subaru that you've always dreamed of, <laughs> right? You got the pizza in the hot box. There must be some time in the past two years of delivering pizzas that, you know, you knock on the door and something weird's on the other side or something like that? Uh, just a drunk girl, but no. Not anything... A drunk girl. ...really weird. Like a girl that's, like, shit-faced, and she's answering the door, and I'm just handing her her pizza. You ever flirt with her, like, in a no. porno or something like that? No. You ever be like, uh, and let your hair, like, be all silly and shit? <laughs> hey, you ever, uh, need anything extra on your pizza? Uh, no, I don't want to end up on anybody's, like, cam show or... Right. Snapchat Why? or something. Right. Right. I've seen, like, three videos of pizza delivery drivers doing that, and... Uh, you wait, wouldn't what, go wait, for wait, that? Wait, no. wait, let's stop for a second here. I think, he, I think Trey just accidentally said something that he didn't realize how silly it was. So you yourself have been watching cam videos wa no, <laughs> coincidentally three times. On a, on a How many site. hundreds of hours of cam videos yeah. do you have to watch? I've seen it happen three times in my cam video history. No, it's just like a video on a porn site. I'm just like, oh, real I'm just like, heck yeah. Do you do you I feel like you <laughs> specifically search for pizza delivery Hell porn. Hell yeah, he does. In like five years, I've only seen three of them. Pizza delivery, lesbian, 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 scissor, scissor. Anyway, Trey, I, 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 I've been making fun of the way you look, but I mean, I, I really think it's cool, especially, you know, it's a weird time to look like the guy that started the Chernobyl meltdown, but, uh, but I think it's a look that you carry well. Well, it's exciting. You know, you're one of the people that people can look back on. Do you remember the episodes that you were on? Uh, 207 and 208. 207 and 208, and we're at what, like 360-something or something like that. Well, that's cool. Well, there you go. You did it. Hey, yes, wait, let's check in with Doc Brown real quick. Yeah, I just want to say I liked his jokes, and you can tell he's been doing it a while, and I appreciate him coming back and keep signing up for the show. Yeah, a fun fact about Trey, a fun fact about Trey is that this is one of the guys to where, uh, you know, he introduced himself to me after one of my stand-up shows years ago at the comedy club formerly known as Sanford and Sons, which was a famous comedy club. Uh, both of the owners, the two brothers that were the sons, have both passed away uh, since then. And uh, yeah, but they were they were two of the first guys to headline me, you know, years and years and years ago. And Trey's one of those guys that uh, I got an applause break when you said the brothers died from Stanford yeah. and Sons. Did you guys not like them or something? You guys, you guys hated the Sanford and Sons brothers. Listen, man, I'm not gonna be able to pay you to like. <laughs> 
three months from now, all right? And uh, He really did. The I'm last... going gonna to do some time at the top of the stand-up show, if that's okay with you. I know you brought a lot of people here to see you, but I'm going to do some jokes that I just found off the internet real quick, and then I'm going to do some cocaine real quick. Yeah, he really did. He really did. The last two times I worked that club, he literally asked me not to cash the check for a little while. Wow. And if you're wondering how often that happens around the world, never. 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 Only here. Overland Park, Kansas. Formerly known as Sanford and Sons. But anyway, I met Trey back then. Had you even done stand-up at that point? Uh, no, you were the one. I had done it like twice when I was 19 and I told you that uh-huh. and then you told me to start and I started and look at you now so far you have the set of the night there he goes Trey Thompson everybody see that I, I made it about me in the end I made it about how I told him to start doing it again you see how I did that amazing Who now what reference does that have tech nine whoa hey love that. Okay, your next comedian goes by the name of Brad Winslow, everyone. Let's keep this fun train moving along. Here we go. Brad Winslow. This is an interesting one. I'm not seeing a lot of movement. It could be this guy who's really taking his time. Oh, it is. Wow, here he comes. He puts the slow in Brad Winslow. I'll tell you that. Here he is taking his time. Come on, one more time, good and loud for Brad Winslow. I work for Red Baron, so that Domino's guy, fuck you. (laughs) But yeah, what's up, guys? Um, I just got married about a month and a half ago. And uh, yeah, cheers to me. But uh, I thought some shit would change, and it didn't. Like, my wife is still really, really lazy about cleaning stuff. She's tidy, she's not clean. So like, the throw pillows, they're there every fucking day. They are there. But the microwave is filthy, so to try to outlast her, I just like accepted that. And uh, basically just started having like a cast iron microwave. It's interesting. So if you've never had General So's chicken tiki masala parmigiana, it's good. Steak and potato chowder, not good. Not fucking good. Fuck yeah. There he goes. Brad Winslow. I like that joke. I didn't think it got quite what it deserved, but I think the front end was a little bit long. First time doing stand-up? You know it. Fuck yeah. Very good. First time. And again, you know, it's that constant uh, thing that we see where it's just a little bit too much header. Like we say, you know, it, by, that, by that point of the... We don't need all that information, yeah. you know what I mean? But it, but it is good. You saved me having to ask you a lot of questions. But, uh, but at the same time, like, for that joke to work, you just got to say, like, I'm going to be honest, I'm, I, I live in a fucking dirty house. My microwave's, like, I, you know, whatever. Yeah. Straight into well, I mean, it. We live in a pretty, like, clean apartment, but... Honestly, I threw myself off by trying to make sure I could screw with him about the Domino stuff. And I was like, well, that's just perfect. It's like, okay, so you do delivery pizza, and I'm like, store pizza. Right. So, and then I said that, and I went, oh, shit. I messed up my timing really bad. <laughs> no, it was fine. It was fine. You know, we remember you, uh, we remember you as Littlefinger from Game of Thrones, and uh, now here you are doing stand-up comedy in Kansas. <laughs> Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Uh, you work for Red Baron. That's real. Yeah. I noticed wow. that you froze during your set at one point. Uh, <laughs> Red yep. Baron. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you, that's, uh, by the way, that, a lot of people don't know this. That's Red Band's full name. Yeah. Is, uh, Red Baron. Yeah. <laughs> he was named after frozen pizza and he shortened it to <laughs> Red Baron. And I was a German fighter. Yeah. Yeah. First guy to put. Yeah, yeah. It plane. does yeah. sort of. It does sort of play for both of those. Gluten. You're German and you yeah. love frozen pizza. Yeah. So. I keep putting my hand in my pocket. It's now. okay. It's you guys pocket. can't help it. It's in the fucking I'm water or the yeah. something <laughs> out here. So, uh, what do you do over at Red Baron? Uh, I'm a sales rep, so I just cover my territory, which is like uh, Parkville, Leavenworth, Bonner Springs, mm-hmm. over into like Mission, Overland Park. Yeah. So, how do you, uh, how, is it hard to keep selling Red Barons or people like there's better frozen pizzas, man? You're going to have to do better than that. What's your final pitch? Like, buy the well, fucking pizza or I slit your throat. DiGiorno. 
Wow. You don't like DiGiorno? Yeah, DiGiorno is like your N-word, right? <laughs> Pretty close. You hear it, you're like, you can't say that. Is that your biggest competition? Like, what is uh, DiGiorno? Well, yeah, Nestle's a way bigger company than us, and right. DiGiorno is Nestle, but they just fired their entire, like, their entire sales force. They're all wow. done in August because Man. apparently taking all the water out of the streams and everything and using, you know, convicts to make all their products, that wasn't profitable enough, so they... Uh, they went ahead and just wow. Damn, you're really force. passionate. <laughs> yeah, he hates Nestle. My God. <laughs> Brand loyalty. He, he yeah. wants to take Nestle down quick. Yeah. No, it's not DiGiorno. It's not just them. I mean. Who else is it? Let's talk more shit about pizza companies. I love this. All right. Who here likes Palermo's? Oh, Palermo's. yeah. They... You're wrong. <laughs> you're, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. $7 for a thin crust pizza one person can fucking eat? Why? Papa John's does better already. Why? <gasps> Let me tell you something. You're the new pizza comedian, dude. <laughs> You're more passionate about this than anything else. I you fuck with you, guys. you immediately just turned into Jerry Seinfeld. Like you turned into like a <laughs> natural comedian. Oh, you? You like that fucking pizza? <laughs> tell us more. What else you got? What are your thoughts about? Uh, what are your thoughts about fucking? What are those um, little pizzas? Those little tiny. Yeah, the one, the ones that are the ones that Small are ones. miniature ones. I used it's to be really, yeah, addicted like to those cents. when I was in do, high school. Do you guys mean Red Baron deep dish singles? Yeah. Mini- oh, no, are you sure? No, I think. No. What do you mean Totinos? The, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. A- ask them. Say who out there likes Totinos, yeah. and then talk shit. You mean the cardboard with seasoning on it? Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. You should be proud. All right, we'll, we'll have to hit the writer's room on it a couple times, but, uh, but I like your passion. I love it. So you've been married a month and a half. And in 420, she- yep. Wow, that's when you guys got married. <laughs> yes, sir. Did 420 degrees? Crazy. <laughs> Did was you that- do that on purpose? No, it's just it was a Saturday, oh. but I, I mean, I didn't gripe about it. So Hell yeah. Do you even smoke out. pot? Uh, not much. Right. All right. Anymore. I mean, I have. What, what does your wife do? Uh, she works in admissions at Baker University. Baker University. Yeah, wow, it sounds I like it sounds realized. like a college for sluts by the sound of uh, <laughs> who cheered for that. Cauliflower girls. I've never thought about what? the 420 part into the Baker University until just now. That was that's lovely. My goodness, what do you, what what do, what does they, what do they specialize in there? What's their thing? Um, pretty much online. Education, right? They, they don't have a lot of, you know, like campus students. It's it's mostly for uh, a lot of military people when they come back to do their, you know, their education. Gotcha. And stuff like that. What? Uh, how long have you been with her? Um, six mm. years, April twenty fifth. Six years, April twenty fifth. Uh huh. Yeah. You ever cheat on her? No. <laughs> All right, just checking. Guys, relax. <laughs> She's a black belt, man. I, I, like, I like Whoa, women. she is? Yeah. Damn, look at you. Yeah. Red Baron with a black chick. I love it. No, black belt, not black oh. chick. Oh, I thought <laughs> you said she was black. I'm like, wow, that's like fucking... No, I just don't want to die yet, man. <laughs> oh. I, I broke up with her um, after a year and a half because it was my longest relationship. And basically I just got nervous kind of got in my own head right. and bailed out on that for like five days what a pussy you're like yo I haven't been in a relationship this long it's too much for me uh, I need five days <laughs> nah, need five just, days to think about it and realize what I'm doing is retarded essentially but uh-huh. yeah and then uh, so day one of that I left went back to my parents house hung out and uh, I came back the next day and the stuffed dog that I had given her uh-huh. because she couldn't be with her family's dog and she's a he, like she loves our current dog more than me. And right. I know that. I'm in peace with right. that shit. <laughs> yeah, of course. But yeah. I get her a stuffed dog and uh, Dog has a personality. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. I'm just joking. I'm joking, Brad. I'm joking. That dog cannot rant about every type of pizza in the world. <laughs> so go ahead, what'd she do with the stuffed dog? Uh, well when I came back home I thought that the uh, stuffed dog had been ripped up by the living dog. And turns out it was from my psychotic now wife. She, wow. Yeah. So I wasn't going to leave that twice. So here I am. Is she here tonight? Yeah. Yeah. She's Point her out. There. Wow. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. That is not her. That is my buddy Joe. She's at home. <laughs> I was uh, going to say, my eyes deceive me. That's a black belt? There's no way. What the fuck? Yeah. 
It's a broken belt is what that she, fucking say She is. ate a lot of the pizza. A couple of them, yeah. All right. Nah, she's at home. Yeah, she she likes comedy, but she doesn't like it the way that I like it, and like he does improv. She, yeah, she likes stand-up. comedy. She doesn't like the way you do it. Did you run? Did you run her your uh, minute by her? Uh, she say, no. "What are you gonna talk about if you get a picture with like a Rosie Perez accent for yeah. some reason?" Like, wait, he, he, wait. He ran her set by her, and she's like, "That needs to go back in the oven a little bit longer." <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I've, I mean, I mostly tell her about the jokes that I do, but, uh, but yeah, I think, I think I've told her this joke before, but, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Are you going to do it again, or is this a one-time thing? Well, I mean, I'm from Omaha, so I planned on following you guys. Whoa, uh, coming tomorrow, that's interesting. Yeah. Born in Omaha, raised in Overland Park. If you could do me a favor, well, you've been, right to, you've been to Omaha, where we're going tomorrow, you're from Overland Park, mm-hmm. right? Can you tell us something that you prefer about Omaha over Kansas uh, before I let you go here. Can you tell us something that you think Omaha is much better at or superior at? Really, the people is what I want to know the answer. What, what are the people in Omaha better at than these people here? They're right better in front at of avoiding potholes for sure. I mean, Omaha streets are dog shit. Jesus, Brad, I'm really wow. setting you up. I'm giving you a beach <laughs> ball here to really, All right, to really make a moment happen. I moved to Overland Park when I was five. So my extended family is all from Omaha. But, uh-huh. I mean, I'm from Overland Park. Uh-huh. So I don't have much intel. I guess they're better at football than KU. And if that makes you sad. It, you know what the fuck the scores are every year. How much money have we wasted? Oh, my they God. They feed them to Tino's. That's why. Wow. I like it. Turn it into a pizza thing fuck in there. Fuck you guys. Stick Silly. to basketball. I went to KU. I understand. Let's go. What'd you graduate with a degree in? Red Baron? (laughs) Didn't graduate, hence why I work for Red Baron. Wow. (laughs) Heck yeah. All right. Well, uh, Brad Winslow, your first time ever on stage, correct? And we did it here, right here in Lawrence, Kansas. Brad Winslow. Brad Casey wins. This guy loves Kansas City. Kansas is so much fun tonight, and it's a pleasure to be here. (laughs) What's that? What's that Kansas City reference? Huey Lewis, Power of Love. Oh, Huey Lewis from Kansas City. Not a lot of people know that. He was born and raised uh, in Westport. That song is just in Back to the Future. I don't know. Oh, oh, uh, no. Is that real? No, it's not okay. real. I made that up. <laughs> Pulled another name out of the bucket. Let's see what happens. I, something in my gut tell, is telling me we're close to having a moment here on Kill Tony. Make some noise for Adam McDonald, everyone. Adam McDonald. Oh, here he comes. Straight from the fifth row. Short walk. Easy breezy. One more time, good and loud, for Adam McDonald, everyone. <laughs> Woo. What's up, Lawrence? So I got a quick story for you. First off, shout out to my boy Trey. You were fucking awesome. All right, so my sister graduated from college with one of her best friends, and her best friend went to work for Fox Film Company. And while she was there, she was working in their payroll department in the accounting, and a bunch of people there were having a lot of problems with their payroll. They weren't getting paid, they are getting paid a couple days late. So instead of emailing the head guy, who was named Tim Ju, a lot of people were emailing her instead. And so she was getting a little annoyed at this, and so she, she decided to send out a mass email to all of Fox Films, telling them if they're having problems with their payroll, to go email Tim Ju in accounting. Thanks to the magic of autocorrect, one little word got changed, and the next day, Fox Films woke up to an email saying, if you're having problems with your payroll, go talk to the Ju in accounting. That might have flown a little better at Fox News, but Fox Films didn't smile very much at it. Fuck yeah, Adam McDonald. I really, I really didn't understand a lot I, I, of what you I said. I have no idea what happened. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, maybe it's uh, slight audio issues. Uh, you are a funny looking guy. How long have you been uh, pro wrestling with your sexuality for? He looks like Pugsley went to summer camp. (laughs) 
I mean, I think this is like, I mean, did we already use a, this is what Boss Baby grown up looks like on someone else? Can you believe it? My God, this is incredible. I mean, I've never seen a man of your size in those type of like penny loafers before. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing, that, like, that giant. Thank you. <laughs> it's like putting a penny on some railroad tracks right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he crushes, he smashes the penny like one of those festival machines. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about it, Adam. I don't know what the fuck that story you told was. Yeah, what was that? What was that? Uh, I'm sorry, maybe I just wasn't talking to the mic, but essentially a friend of my sister's worked at Fox Films, and people were... What's the short, what's the end of this story? She sent out a mass email telling people to go talk to the Jew in accounting instead of Tim Jew in accounting. Say that one more time. The guy working in accounting was named Tim Jew, she sent out an email telling them to talk to the Jew. Uh, was this with the, with the hacked emails? Is this how you know about this? No, she just no. accidentally did a spell, spelling mistake, right? Spelling mistake, yeah. Oh. Did she get in trouble for it? Oh, yeah. Yikes. Oh. That actually happened to a, a major studio exec at, at uh, HBO or something, but it wasn't, a, uh, it wasn't at all a, uh, a spelling error. She meant, <laughs> she meant to insult a race of people at one point. I'm not going to name her name because she still runs certain things in show business, and I'm really, really, really smart. Uh, so, Adam, let's talk about it. Why are you wearing such a, a little amount of clothes today? Yeah. We're talking no socks. You got the shorts from your fucking seventh grade football it's practice. Hot out, man. And you look, it's hot. and from the neck to the waist, you look like you just escaped from some gay prison. Yeah. <laughs> It's hot out there. It's fucking hot out. That's it. You're a big boy. What are we? Six three. Six five. Six five. What? Two. Three hundred pounds. Three hundred flat. Wow, that's incredible. And by flat, I'm not talking about your chest. Big areolas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Adam, what do you do for a living? Well, I've been in the Army Infantry for five and a half years. In, Army in the, Infantry? In the National Guard. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Holy and then I'm shit. also work at Firestone Automotive. Also working at what? Firestone Automotive. Firestone Automotive. Hell yeah. Fucking working with tires. Absolutely. Why did that get a bigger response than the National Guard? Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> For Kansas. obvious reasons. But you were in the Army before the National Guard? Is that what I got out of that? No, it's the, just the National Guard for five and a half years. Oh, okay. Have you ever gone anywhere? Have you ever been deployed? Have they ever yeah. used you as a raft or anything like that? <laughs> no, I was deployed to Qatar for all of 2017 as part of Operation Enduring Freedom. Wow. That's incredible. That's great. Operation Freedom. Another fun fact, I was also deployed to the Ferguson riots. You were also deployed in what? The Ferguson riots. Oh, the Ferguson, Ferguson riots. Wow. wow. What side were you on? <laughs> the side that didn't get to do anything fun. Wow. All right. Well, that's a Strange answer. <laughs> Adam, uh, you, are you big into sports or anything? Like, I don't understand. You're a big fucking guy. No, I used to be really big into basketball. Uh, never played much football, but... When I was about 15, I started boxing, did that till I was 17, and then just kind of stopped sports. Didn't you just win the heavyweight championship a few days ago? <laughs> I'm a little too white for that. Heck yeah. Well, uh, what else, Adam? You have a girlfriend? Not right now, no. No? What happened to the last one? Last one, it was a mutual breakup. We just kind of outgrew it. Yeah, you've, uh, you've outgrown you, I everything. I definitely outgrew it. Yeah, I've outgrown your shorts, your shirt, and your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> wow. What do you like to do for fun? Any hobbies? What do you do? Uh, you fucking, like you, you, you just push kids over? <laughs> uh, no. Um, after work, I go to the gym, and then on the weekends with my buddies, I like to sing. I'm a pretty good singer. And then what the fuck are you talking about? What's a song that you like to sing? Like, wait, you, if you go do karaoke, what's your jam? No one knows what it's like to be the bad Fat man. man, to be the sad man behind blue eyes. Scream. <laughs> I didn't say it right. I also like to do uh, long range shooting with my friends in the army. You do a lot of shooting. Heck yeah. What are we talking about? Shooting yogurt straight into your veins? Yep. My goodness. No, long range shooting, um, like long range, thousand yeah. yard shooting type groups, try to practice. Right. Uh, did you ever kill anyone when you were in Qatar? 
No peaceful country. Security force work only. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait a second. Doc Brown is seems seems as though he's gone back to a no, different part of the show. That, uh, <laughs> I think he's trying to to be the fat man. <laughs> to be the fat man. Behind. All right, very good. He learned it that fast. So you didn't shoot anyone because what? <laughs> no, uh, we were in just security no forces. No one knows what it's like. <laughs> okay, Doc. To be the fat man. <laughs> All right. We got it like 20 to times To be ago. the fat man. All right. To be the one with no independent show. Oh, God, what the what fuck is happened? happening? What is happening? I don't even know what's happening. Yeah. How many of you hate Adam McDonald now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Adam, give these people a reason to like you. Tell them something. I mean, this is the only guy that's served your country that's been on stage tonight. And it seems as though they've turned on you out of nowhere. Nah, man, I'm just a Midwest kid, likes to have some fun. No, no one knows me. what okay. it's like All right. to sell tires all the time. <laughs> they hate it when you jump in. Day I can feel it. Today. A- Adam, what you, got? you don't really think you can sing, do oh, you? Oh, definitely not. 100% <laughs> okay. not. Oh, okay, good. I'm just fucking around right I, now. I mean, you are built like Adele, but uh, <laughs> you just don't have the same pipes. All right, Adam. Well, I'm going to get you out of here. It was Thank fun you, it was to fun. meet you. You are a big fucking adorable uh, guy. I have no idea what the fuck you said. You really have to focus on lit. You have to lit- work. You have to hear yourself. When you're up here, you have to listen. Make sure that it sounds like when you hear through your ears that it sounds like that you can hear you. Because if you can't hear you, then other people might not be able to hear you either. Put some thank ma- you. Make some noise for Adam McDonald, everybody. <laughs> Named after clearly his favorite restaurant, McDonald's. Ring ding dong, a ring a ding a ding ding dong. Hey, keep their heads ringing. Hopefully they get a girl pulled up. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe one of these uh, one of these crazy... Oh, maybe this is one. Put your hands together for Catfish John. Catfish John. Oh, here we go. Catfish John. Well, hey. he's... Oh, okay. Here we go. This is exciting. Here he is, Catfish John, everybody. What up? So I got 12 stitches on December 12th of 2012. So fuck 12. Uh, I was in the hospital visiting my grandfather and I fainted. I cut the tile with my head. And uh, nurse ran in and said, what happened? My grandpa looked at the nurse and said, my grandson was talking back, so I slapped him. <laughs> then, uh, so my grandmother was a baby when H.G. Wells did the uh, reading of War of the Worlds on the radio. And uh, her parents decided to go to her aunt and uncle's house, so they gathered up everything and they left, and they left the baby there. <laughs> did you get the baby? I thought you got the baby. I have one more thing to say and I forgot. Heck yeah. You forgot oh, yeah. You f- a ring, a ding a ding a ding dong, catfish John. So y- you forgot a joke there? Yeah, I think it'll come. You don't look like you don't look stage. like you would ever forget uh, anything ever. Your keys, your wallet, anything. Uh, he he looks like a hippie that was forced to serve in Vietnam. It's true. Catfish John, you look like you smoke pot out of car mufflers. If you got it loaded, I'll hit it. <laughs> so you really would? You would smoke out of a car muffler if we loaded it up and kicked it up? off a car. What's the weirdest thing that you've ever smoked? D- d- DMT. Wow. How did that go for you? What did you see? Yourself? Uh, I've done it a few times, so I've seen a few things. Uh... One time I saw a lion uh-huh. spinning like a tumbler that I was inside of. 
It was oh. full of geometric patterns and shit. Wow. Did you break through all the way, you think? Or did you just kind of... It's hard to say, so probably not. Lion just fucking spinning you around, sort of. Not over a fire or anything like that. Just sort of being weird, just fucking spinning no, you around. Uh, I did break through one time, and I had like two different entities talking to me. Uh-huh. But they both were saying, fuck you on an endless loop, and it made me really scared yeah. to ever smoke DMT again. Yeah, and that was the last time you smoked DMT. Fuck you. No, then I did the thing with the lion. <laughs> the lion was after that, yeah. I love it. Heck yeah. <laughs> Gotta chase that dragon. Were the two people telling you, fuck you, perhaps your parents? No. No. You close no. with your parents? What's that? <laughs> Probably. That, that's no. Uh, if you didn't hear me, then the answer is no. Do, do you, know, uh, you know, I saw the other day in California, they have DMT vape pens now, where you just have a, like a disposable vape pen. And he's DMT. gone. Catfish John is gone. He has <laughs> left the stage. I gotta go to California right now. Heck yeah, that was the joke that I just made. Uh, so, Catfish, what do, you, what, uh, what do you do for work? What golf course do you tend the greens at? What disc golf course do you uh, mow? There's a few of them where I'm from. Uh, I work as a machinist, though. I make parts on wow. industrial Look machines. Look at you, you're like Christian Bale Bonds. It's a machinist. The movie he was the star of the movie. How did, how did you get the name Catfish John? Good question. Um, I got really drunk and I gave myself that nickname. I was. It's a song and it's about. Yes, I wanted you to play this song. Thank you. You thought that but, you, you assumed uh, that Red John Band was going to play that. Catfish John is a hobo by over. the river your mother warned you about, and that's me. Are you? Do you live by the river? Try to. You try to? What do you mean you stay try? there as often as I can? That's you, your squad goals? He's got... S- oh, what oh, what is sure that? That's leg. It's a it's cat- a oh, those are catfish. Heck yeah. Uh-huh. You seem like you've probably catfished everyone you've ever went on a date with. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, so catfish, when you say that you try to live by the river, do you, do you have an apartment? Do you have a stable living situation? I have a house, yeah. Yeah, you have a, your own house? Two-car garage. Two-car oh, wow. garage, your own house. This is so lucky. From well, I rent, yeah. Oh, you rent it. Well, that, that's all good. That's okay. <laughs> but that's a, that's a pretty how many, uh, big house? Uh, three bedroom. Three bedroom, nice. two-car garage, all to yourself. Me and my lady. Oh, how long you been with her? Eight years. Wow. Catfish found, her, found himself a little whale, yeah, huh? Yeah, I haven't really catfished anybody in a very long time. <laughs> right. Where'd you meet her at? What uh, Grateful church. Dead... Church. Church. Oh, that's what you call Grateful Dead concerts, right? <laughs> yes, I Fuck have yeah. called them that. Yeah. Dude, just here to fucking worship my God, dude. Look at Jerry. All hail Jerry Garcia. Hell yeah. Uh, so you were actually at church? Yeah, my father is a United Methodist minister. Wow. Whoa, you're a letdown. <laughs> Do you still go to church? You should meet my brother. <laughs> Do you still go to church? No. No, so you're out of it. Heck yeah. Not since Satan. I was old enough to smoke DMT. Maybe right. you should stop <laughs> <laughs> worshiping DMT and start worshiping G-O-D, huh? <laughs> wow, Doc Brown trying to uh, kick, kick, pitch some religion over here. <laughs> you're the first guy I've ever heard of, Catfish, to go to church, get pussy, and never go back. <laughs> It's incredible. It's pretty close to how it happened, yeah. Wow. So you guys met at church? Did you hook up pretty fast? No, it took a while. I had to ask her out. Like, like three, three days four, later? Three or four yeah. times. Yeah. She kept turning me down. And I kept coming back. Uh-huh. And then you resurrected the relationship? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the f- first date, where'd you guys go? Oh, shit. To church. What'd you say? Homecoming. She's right. It's also the first time I smoked weed, so it's easily that I forgot that. You wow, know what I mean? that's incredible. <laughs> My God. She's here. She just yelled out "Homecoming" to remind you. Yeah, that's her. Wow. Is she a hippie also? A little hippie? Yeah. Uh, I mostly, so. I like to assume so. Uh huh. Have to ask her. 
Here's her. Have you guys ever had the talk like you get one cheat guy? You know, like if if Brad Pitt was here, you get to sleep with him. Have you ever had that talk with your girl? And who would who is your uh, girl's guy? And just to let you know, she whispered something into the black guy's ear, sitting oh, next yeah. to her when Red Band said the word cheat. It looked like you are. So and ne- and now they're doing the hand over the mouth laugh over at it. So uh, for a city that likes to brag about how they don't have black guys fucking their women. Uh, <laughs> Just like to say that. Uh, who is your? Who would be your girl though? If, like, if you were allowed to cheat one time, you know what I'm talking about. We right? had this conversation a long time ago, and it was uh-huh. mostly like joking about celebrities and shit. Right. Who and is I your girl? I think girls? I said Kate Upton at the time. Kate Upton. Uh-huh. And you remember what hers was? No. You don't remember. What is it, sweetheart? Yell it out. Justin Timberlake. That's a good one. Fuck, I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bullshit. It's a lie. Who's yours, Tony? Do you have one? Justin Timberlake. <laughs> um, anyway. Wow. So, Catfish, um, what is the, uh, what is the uh, like, if, we, if you had to guess, because you seem like you have a lot going on, right? You have a real job. You're a stoner, right? You're sort of a hippie. You're, you live in this area. You're from this area, right? I'm from Springfield, Missouri. It's like three hours away. Right. So that's like sort of the middle of nowhere, right? Sort of. So if you had to give us an example of something that would be like the white trashiest thing about you. Right, like, what would that be? Is there something that uh, is there something? Like, I'll, I'll tell you mine. Right, my uh, one of mine is that my mom, uh, basically, because I didn't have a dad living in the house that I lived in growing up, uh, she would just buy me twenty-four packs of Pepsi and just let me drink all the Pepsi I wanted as a kid. Your turn. My white trash thing comes in twenty-four packs. Also, my favorite beer is PBR. Wow, look at that blue ribbon. Award winning. And uh, how about anything else? Anything else about you or your childhood or anything like All that? Right, I really wanted to do one thing. It's why I signed up. I wanted to juggle on stage. I brought some. Oh, juggle. juggle. Really? Play some fucking juggle music, dude. Here we go. This guy knows how to fucking juggle. He's juggling hacky sacks. This might be the most stoner thing I've ever seen. He's juggling hacky sacks. Ladies and gentlemen, he's wearing a tie-dye shirt. He's the seventh guy on stage with cargo shorts. He's got a ponytail, a goatee, and he's juggling hacky sacks. My God, that is incredible. Catfish John. That, uh, those are real hacky sacks, am I correct? These are real hacky sacks. Oh, wow. Oh, my I God. seen one in oh, so wow. long. Oh, now I see why they call you catfish. Oh, um, fuck. That is Smell so that. fucking You don't cool. know where they've been? No, oh, I think I know. They've been in your pocket, catfish. Uh, I'll tell you, I fucking love that you brought hacky sacks up here to <laughs> juggle great. in case you got called. I wish more people sometimes would perhaps think ahead, like, what the fuck? Do I, do I have any talent? So clearly you've listened to this show before. Oh, yeah, I You're love this show. You're a fan. You had fun up here tonight? Oh, hell yeah. We're going to keep it moving. That's there he great. goes. Catfish John, everybody. <laughs> All right, I mean... You guys want to go back to the bucket one more time, huh? Just one more time. Let's pick out a girl. Yeah. We're going to try. Let's see what happens here. Let's just see what happens. Easy. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. My color flare is swollen. Come on. I can't get over Hillary's loss in the presidential election. Yeah. We need equality. Help us, please. Oh, we're so equal, but we need extra help. Because we... Oh, just help us. Come on, but we're the same. But we need you to do something for us. But we're... Oh, God loves us all the same. Zach Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, look at this. Front, middle, Zach Thomas. Heck yeah. Well, he's going Price is Right style. Oh, yeah. He's very excited. <laughs> That's what we should have. We should have the audience like, dress up in costumes and shit. That'd be great. <laughs> hey, we could do it. Uh, uh, we have actually, it's funny you mentioned that. We have a big announcement coming up as soon as uh, Monday that we might actually. Hey, Zach Thomas, hello. everybody. Come on. Hello, hello. <laughs> 
So I'm short, you know, I'm whew, kind of fat, you know, so I just pull pussy like crazy, you know. Uh, my whole life I grew up trying to extreme sports to get girls. I thought, what can I get girls? You know, I play guitar, I rode motocross, you know, but I finally figured out what girls like. It's tall guys, you know. Uh, fuck, you know, the one that got away, you know, I always have, oh, the girl that got away. Yeah, she got away to a tall fucking guy, you know. Uh, I like to pee outside. I like to pee in my yard a lot. And the other day I was in my yard, my robe open, just, you know, getting it, peeing. And I heard this, you know, and I look over and my neighbor John comes out. And I just, hey, John. <laughs> and uh, that's all I got. So your neighbor John walked out in on you peeing? I was in my backyard, my robe, just ba-boom, letting the dogs pee. It's my favorite thing. And you peed too? Or yeah. no? Yeah, so you're yeah. peeing, and yeah. your neighbor John, is it catfish John by any chance? It was not. I wish it was. No, but no your neighbor, it wasn't. Well, what did he say? You said that's all I got. You literally took us like halfway through. You literally went to commercial 50 <laughs> seconds into your set. Uh, we just, we made eye contact, and, and he didn't look away, and I thought, well, my dick's out. Uh-huh. So I just was like, hey, John. And we, we both just looked away. We're, but you were still peeing, right? I was. See, I think the story went a little bit differently than the way you're telling it. I did it. I, I think swear. you're peeing. You guys make eye contact. You're surprised that he locks eye contact. You can't stop locking eye contact either. He comes, lays down underneath your piss stream. Am I correct about this? Yeah. All right. We only have so much time until you turn into a fat werewolf all the way. So. <laughs> Let's, True. Let's do this, Zach. Uh, you've done stand-up comedy before. Never. First time. Really? Wow. Sure. My goodness. You seem so into that set. The way that you delivered it made me think that you've done stand-up before, but looking back at how you wrote your material, no, I really do believe that was your first set. Yeah. No substance. That's very cool. So congratulations. Thank is you. this something you've always wanted to do? It is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you do for work? I work on motorcycles. Yeah. Uh, independently. What do you what do you what do you do? Are you a professional kickstand? Yes. Uh, no, I'm a motorcycle technician. Wow. Yeah. Finally, a type of vehicle that you can reach all the parts of. Uh, yeah, I just lift him up. Right He's here. very short for you podcast listeners. He's what? Are, what are you? Five three? Four on a good day? Huh? <laughs> no, it's not ah. a good day today. You're not bullshitting me. <laughs> <laughs> you really five three? I don't know, probably. Yeah, you are. That's what that's what guys that are when five three are. No, I don't know. Out. You know what I mean? Never even measure myself yeah, once in my entire life. <laughs> what the fuck? Think about it every day, write jokes about it. I have no idea what my height is. <laughs> fuck you, Zach. <laughs> are you allowed to ride all the rides at uh, Worlds of Fun? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. The three banger. I can't order whoppers either. Why? Oh, get out of Whoppers. Got wow. tiny hands. Jesus, yeah. don't do that. Don't do that, Zach. Happened. Whatever that was. I won't do that again. Uh, you ever do, like, musicals or theater or anything like that? You ever been on a stage before? Uh, no. Really? Yeah, I'm just really animated like this regularly. Yeah. yeah. And, uh... What else are you animated about? you have any hobbies or anything fun that you do? Is there yeah, anything yeah. silly about you? Can you juggle some hacky sacks, perhaps, Fucking or something like that? Cannot do that, dude. Good one. Yeah. I cannot do that. I, uh... I play guitar. Mm -hmm. I work on motorcycles, trucks. I'm building a truck right now in my garage. Uh -huh. Tonka. Yes. Yeah. Tonka. Real low so I can get in it. Hey, you son of a bitch. You got it too. Yeah. It's a new thing. People telling me why I made the joke that I made. There you go. Yep. Fun fact, I actually, as a kid, another fun fact about me, I once uh, rode a Tonka truck, you know, those little yellow fucking yeah, Tonka trucks. I was I so have. tiny that I, I used to scoop my butt around on the fucking Tonka truck, and I once went down uh, an entire set of basement stairs, and I have a massive scar underneath my chin from wow. it. <laughs> Tore my fucking chin up. Yeah. Riding a Tonka truck down basement stairs, because I'm fucking rock and roll, dude, you know what I mean? Since Woo! I was fucking three years old. My fucking poor single mom felt so bad. Imagine that. You walk downstairs and your kid's bleeding everywhere. You kept, didn't fucking watch him ride a Tonka truck down the basement <laughs> stairs. Anyway, uh, back to you, Zach. You fucking little goddamn just fucking... What kind, of truck are you, what kind of truck are you building? It's a 1976 Chevy Love. Oh, cool. Uh, mini truck. 
Chevy Love. Yeah, it's lime green. My nice. God, look at yeah. you. I've never seen a human that reminds me of a travel neck pillow before, but there's oh, there. <laughs> something about you. You look so puffy and like yeah. soft. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Zach, any other fun facts about you? Have any weird uh, deformities from birth or anything like that? You have... Uh, I have 11 ribs instead of 12. Is that true? That is true. You know, I found out. I you ate my... one of your ribs? Yes! <laughs> exactly. That's exactly. Does that eat fist bumps and shit when you make fun of them? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> so you could do the Marilyn Manson suck your own dick thing. That's why. Oh, yeah. you, 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 mean, you, a... you mean you mean the formerly known as Marilyn Manson, now known as Brian Redband, <laughs> suck your own dick <laughs> thing? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> These people all know. Uh, they do. No, I mean, you can probably. Have you, you ever tried been. it? Oh, I got this baby here. Will you try it right now? Red Band's done it before. Will you try it right now on this stage? You guys want to see this guy? Fuck it! He's not actually going to do it. He's just going to try to flex over enough. What do you, what do, you do? I don't know. You, 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 try, you just... try multiple ways. There's one way. Okay, that, that way definitely wouldn't work. There you go. Come on, make some noise for Zach, everybody. <laughs> Well, there you, you go. obviously can't do that. Unless his dick is taller than he is, <laughs> I, uh, I don't think he can do it. No. But great try, Zach. I gave it all I had. Uh huh. But the question is, is can your dick suck you? Very good question. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, Zach, it was nice to meet you. It's good that we popped another cherry up here. Uh, there you go, Zach Thomas, everybody. All right, you know, what do you guys think? Do we find a woman and end the show on a woman, huh? Or should I be a bad guy and end it right now? All right. We're going to find a woman. I'm going to keep pulling it until we find a woman. Sorry to Luke. Sorry to John. Sorry to Jeffrey. Yeah, it hurts. Brandon, you didn't make it. God doesn't love you. Ryan, you fucked up. Jolson's a dude for sure. How about, mm, is JoJo a guy or a girl? That's Sit a guy. back down. <laughs> Ke Kellen is a man's name. Will, you didn't fucking do it. Parker, no way, right? Dakota? That's a, That's a that goes name, both right? ways, right? Dakota? It's Dakota a, Schultz? Is that a boy? It's, it's a guy. Sit back down. Look at that. He looks like everybody else that was on tonight. Tim A. Perhaps that was Tim Allen. Gary Murphy. He sounds boring as fuck. Dan Christian. Wow. Maybe it's going to be one of those there nights. no girls that signed no up? women. Evan. Uh, let's just go through it the right way here. TJ. Billy. Oh, Billy. We know Billy. Billy is the brother of our good friend Curtis from the L.A. Comedy Store. Mark, JJ, Wesley. What was that? Oh, I got one. I found one. This is definitely a woman. The one that fucking fell. Thank goodness I noticed that. Make some noise for your, your final comedian of the night. Did we have fun here tonight or what? Live. The first ever true Midwest. Real Midwest kill Tony. Make some noise for your final comedian of the night, Claire Anderson, everybody. Wow. I believe that's her. She does not seem excited to be pulled yeah, out of the doesn't. bucket. Long pause, a head shake no, and a slow stroll. Wait. Here we go. I wish that was Claire Anderson. Why can't that be Claire Anderson going that way? It can be after a couple months of DiGiorno. DiGiorno. <laughs> Come on, everybody. It's your final comedian of the night, Claire Anderson. Jesus Christ. Okay. So my mother abandoned me when I was four. Um, try to act like it doesn't bother me, but it's always in the back of my head. Uh, like recently, I uh, dyed my hair blonde and a coworker yelled across the break room, Hey, Claire, I like your new hair. You got that desperately seeking Susan vibes going on which was uh, apparently a uh, Madonna movie reference, but I didn't get it because I was paralyzed by the fact that my coworker somehow knew that my mother's name was Susan and she didn't love me. <laughs> um, 
so the other half of my family that I do know, they're kind of white trash, as am I. I've got this autistic cousin. Some of you look a little uncomfortable. Yeah, I get it. I get it. That's how I feel when I interact with him, too. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That was great. That was fucking great, Claire Anderson. You've done, you've done stand-up comedy before. No. Wow, no. that's incredible. You had one of the best sets of the night. Yeah. Your first time ever. Congratulations. An extremely well-executed uh, joke that got its own standalone applause break. That's mind-boggling. How long have you been preparing for this minute? Uh, like... Two days-ish. Fuck yeah. That's Look great. at that. I mean, really, what sold it is just crisp eye contact, delivery. I really felt like you had uh, you had done this before. I thought that maybe your hesitation of coming up here when I called your name was like, uh, I don't, I don't, you know. It was terror. Wow. That's so exciting. You fucking, you performed tonight like a person who was abandoned by their mom at the age of four. You know what I mean? That's what it takes. Thanks, Susan, for... Hell this yeah. Time. Who's yeah. Neil? You have fuck Neil on your shirt. What uh, is it? She was a good friend of ours that passed away a few years ago. Oh, wow. Wow. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, I guess so. That's awesome. What a way to pay tribute. By the way, I think we finally found out who wears the pants in this city. Our first pair of pants tonight. Unbelievable. What? Pants. Wow. A comedian's uh, usual mandatory uniform. We had a lot of khaki shorts up here tonight. It took Claire Anderson to break the uh, break the trend. The poor Imagine ladies. Imagine what the Tinder is like. Yo, oh, yeah. I'm just going to say the poor ladies out here have to deal with all these fucking cargo shorts and shit like yeah, that. Exactly. And all the guys Stinky have to deal feet. with these swamp pussies. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> just fucking... Can't wearing fucking. I'm just kidding. You don't have a swamp. No, I okay. couldn't fucking. I uh -oh. can't handle it. I can't handle it. I think I smell catfish John again. <laughs> <laughs> so Claire, uh, fucking amazing set. I mean, uh, this was incredible. Uh, tell us more about you. What do you do for uh, work? You work at a rock and roll venue or you're a bartender or something like that? I'm a full-time graphic designer. Graphic designer. Uh, That's cool. What kind of uh, graphics are you designing? Um, I mean, I do a lot of like band posters and shit, but I work for nonprofits. And, mm -hmm. That's you great. Know, go feminism. Very cool. Bye. Heck yeah. Uh, you a fan of Kill Tony or a boyfriend or something is? Or what are we <laughs> no, talking about? I'm a fan. I'm single. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, That's not advert. I'm not looking. <laughs> you're not what? I'm not looking for anything. Oh, man. Oh, you're single. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Um, how long have you been single for? Uh, <laughs> three years. Wow, three is there years. a reason why? Yeah, the dating pool is fucking dog shit. Damn. It's been three years. Yeah, that's right. You broke up with that guy three years ago. He got on Lexapro and he started the show. What a way to... What a way to bookend this whole thing. This is her, right? Right now he's like, fuck, and she had a better set than me? He's the one that wanted to end his joke with the hanging thing, right? I think there's a lot of storylines matching up here. He Small might kill town. himself. Hell yeah, it is. Uh, Claire, have you ever broken a guy's heart before? Uh, I mean, probably. Pro that, that means hell yeah. Probably. That's adorable. Man, what do you do for fun? Any fun hobbies of yours or anything? You seem like you'd be into roller derby or something like that. <laughs> roller derby. Um... No, I kind of turned my hobby into a job, so now I just kind of uh, drink and try to Heck yeah. What's your, what's your drink of choice? Tequila. Miller Lite. Wow, Miller Lite. Everybody likes beer here. Yeah, really and not even that. like great beer, like just the shittiest, cheapest right. beer. It's so weird. Michelob Ultra, Pabst Blue Ribbon, Miller Lite. Like, it's like, wow, okay. you guys just... I get. drink the Miller High Life because it's low on carbs. I don't know what the other chubby dudes are doing with their drink of choice. Like. Oh, wow, carbs. look at you, the champagne of beer. Take that, you fat idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried to ever maybe vodka? You know, that's lower on carbs. Yeah, I do the vodka sodas, but you know, mm -hmm. it's not very fun. Right, right. Need yeah. those Can't be one drinks. of the guys. With the Have you tried water with a lot of energy in it before? <laughs> There's a guy with 18 servings of energy here. <laughs> Has anybody ever told you you look like Anna Ferris if she managed a hot topic? 
<laughs> Thank you. That is true. You know, I played the saxophone for eight years. Oh, nice. Ah, ah, he can't do it. It's not the same. Jeremiah is weird about his reads, people. He yeah. can't do it. It's not he cannot it. do it. There will never be a sax off. Jeremiah <laughs> has put it into, it has been, it is put in a vault. He refuses no matter perhaps where the show no yeah. matter what part of the show, no matter what city, no matter if it was the first ever place he saw a concert at. I, I mean, I've, would, I've asked a, a lot of times. He won't even let any of us he, he, use we, this. He's never let anyone else play his saxophone. You didn't bring a, uh, you didn't bring a mouthpiece and a reed with you, did you? I thought about bringing my own mouthpiece. Wow, right. that's fucking crazy. I wouldn't do that. You know, you're back in your hometown. Well, you uh, perhaps uh, instead to end the show, Claire, you could try to suck your own dick. Um, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, Claire. That's so fun. Have you ever squirted before? Oh, God. <laughs> Red band. You can't just do that. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Wow, she's got an answer. She's giving uh, oh, us yes. the finger. Um, there's a couple dudes you think I have, but I definitely just peed in their bed. Yay! <laughs> Booyah! And Damn. that is why she is not playing my saxophone. She's disgusting. Disgusting. My goodness, I fucking love that. Because that's what girls do, right? When a guy says, oh, I've always wanted to make a girl squirt, you think I can make you squirt? And you're like, yeah, I mean, you could try. Let me drink some fucking water first, you idiot. I'll do whatever it takes for you to fucking be happy, right? Or you black out and who knows? Yeah, I fucking like that. It's not a rape joke. It's just no, no, <laughs> I know. I know. You can't you can't squirt while getting raped. Everyone knows that. <laughs> That's like impossible. Yeah, absolutely. We've all we've all tried a great many times. It just can't happen. It's not rape if you squirt. It's true. It's true. Even if it was rape, it's no longer rape immediately. At the I'm squirt. so glad my family could see me shine tonight. <laughs> there are, I believe. I totally 16 forgot. members of the Watkins family here tonight. They all work at the museum across the street. Yeah, the Watkins <laughs> Museum of History. Not a lot of people know that's named after Jeremiah Watkins. Is that true? <laughs> no. <laughs> just just yeah. Like yeah, when you walk inside, it's just a bunch of... Uh, Noses. <laughs> <laughs> just a pile of them on the floor. Heck yeah. Well, Claire, I mean, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I think you had one of the best sets of the night. You came out. You told your again. story. You told truths. And you fucking stayed in the pocket. Very impressive. How about one more time, good and loud, for Claire Anderson. And that is Lawrence, Kansas, Kill Tony for the first time ever. How about another hand for the band, Jeremiah Watkins, everybody. My goodness. Claire, next time we come to town, bring a saxophone and we'll give you an automatic spot. How about that? So next time we're in Kansas, we'll have a sax off after all. She wins nothing if she beats him. But I mean, we, you watched him. It only took him four minutes to learn behind blue eyes earlier while the show was going on. 15 <laughs> seconds, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the new Reagan Watkins album is out now. Feminist Stacy shirts are on for sale after the show. We're all signing posters afterwards. Uh, ReaganWatkins.com for the album. Jeremiah stand up on social media. Jeremiah Watkins on YouTube. Anything else? Uh, yes, my guest on Jeremiah Wonders this Monday is Pete Holmes. Wow, heck yeah. Look who came and crashed your show. And I'd like to thank my family for coming out to kill Tony for the first and last time tonight. <laughs> yeah, right. Those Watkins, they're wild. I love those people. I'm staying at Jeremiah's mom's house tonight. She, uh, she, uh, she uh, made me a little break. What's that? You're damn motherfucking right we are. How about a hand for Mrs. Watkins? She made me uh, dinner. She made a little fucking thing for my birthday. It was... So nice to come here, land after a long flight, and feel at home, have a nice home-cooked meal and a nice fucking cozy place to stay at. Uh, what 
else? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I, we didn't do that one thing. I guess we'll do that tomorrow. Heck yeah, cool. can't do it now. Ray, we're gonna. I'm gonna have uh, Death Squad pins after that glow in the dark and stuff. Also, that's too, right. So, yeah. And the Ryan J. Bell poster for sale. We'll see you guys outside. Uh, right outside that door. Make sure you form a line. Whatever you do, don't just swamp the table. Just make a line, and we'll get through it smoother and faster than if you all swarm us at once. Thank you so much for coming out. We love you. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>